Miles, welcome back to another edition of Happenings. Thanks for tuning in once again. Today, we are at the PGA National Resort and Spa at the Honda Classic. We appreciate the ongoing support from the Honda Classic Cares for supporting the Ballon Isles Charities Foundation in our ongoing mission of making a difference here in Palm Beach County. So the Honda Classic is a golf tournament that's run one week a year. Everybody thinks of the golf tournament as just a golf tournament, but the Honda Classic is a 501c3, and we are so excited to be promoting the Honda Classic Cares throughout the year. We support uh, grants, we support children in our community, and that's the whole purpose, the proceeds from this event benefit children's charities in Palm Beach County and South Florida. We have one mission to help these many, many children, and we're so blessed that we're able to take this money and invest it back into our communities, into different nonprofit organizations to benefit children. Also, please stay tuned for a very important message from our very own horticulturalist. And in case you missed this past weekend's Meet the Candidates for the Ballon Isles Community Association, please be sure to tune into Channel 63 to learn more about each of the four candidates that are running for the three open positions. We thank you once again for tuning into Happenings. Have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Hello, my name is John Sawyer. I'm your Safety Security Director here at Ballon Isles. And I just want to bring up to you that we awarded two of our officers today for a recent incident where we had a fire at a house that could have created great damage. These officers responded quickly, extinguished the fire before the fire department responded, and they did an outstanding job. Hello, Ballon Isles. Um, this is Officer Costa, and I'm Officer Moreno. Um, we proudly serve your community. Uh, we were on a day shift, and uh, we got an alarm through our pager system, which is simultaneous with uh, the alarm that goes out to the fire department. We were able to uh, respond to uh, the community where the, uh, the property uh, was involved. Uh, we, uh, we took an arrival. Uh, we uh, made contact with the resident on her driveway. Uh, we could tell Officer Costa and I that we still had enough time to uh, make entry. Uh, the smoke conditions were such that uh, there were still light. Uh, we determined that we can make entry, so we, uh, we grabbed our extinguishers and we made entry and uh, we were able to identify the fire and, uh, and knock it down. Um, when we uh, got out of the property, we made sure that uh, all the residents outside were in a safe location, and uh, and we made uh, the conditions safe for uh, for fire rescue to take an arrival and uh, keep processing the uh, the scene. And uh, it, it's an honor to serve you, and uh, thank you very much. Hello, hi, it's Alexis, the horticulturist for the Ballon Isles Community Association, and we're going to have a conversation about our fabulous winter flowers. This year has been wonderful. The weather has cooperated. Uh, we've had a nice cool winter and everything is flourishing, but now it's starting to get warmer. So this time of the year, the insects will come out and they will start to look for a lunch. They want your flowers and they really are coming out in a vengeance. If you look at this bed over here, you can see areas where the flowers are very full and floriferous. And then you'll see areas where there are no flowers. That is because the insects have started to feed on the new little succulent uh, buds. So you need to take a look at this and if you see this, please contact your landscape maintenance provider or your pest control company. This is very easy to control, but once it gets past a certain stage, it will be very difficult to turn them around. So go out, smell the roses, look at the flowers, and see if everything is blooming. Hope that's a nice tip for you today. Take care, bye. Hi, Play for Pink is here today and it promises to be a fun-filled day. We are just so excited and so thrilled. We have a fabulous turnout, 166 women. We have tea signs all over the range. We have fabulous raffle prizes. Everyone is so psyched for this event and we are going to surpass all the fundraising that we did last year. So come on out today, watch us hit those balls and um, hope you'll join us next year if you could make it this year. Thanks. Hello. I am Mark Freeman on behalf of the Ballon Isles Chatters Foundation. 
It is my distinct pleasure to update you on the results of this year's fundraising campaign. Please join us on Monday, March 12th at 4.30 in the Pavilion as we award grants of $575,000 to 46 local nonprofit and civic organizations. That is over 2.3 million over the past seven years since our inception. You should all be proud of this accomplishment. We realized that this year would be challenging due to the clubhouse renovation, and we concentrated on an extensive community educational program, highlighting the work of the organizations which receive grants that help so many children and families. The materials included our annual report, a video which was shown at two of our community receptions, four Did You Know flyers included with your monthly club invoice, along with many educational segments featured in the bi-weekly happenings program. Based upon the results this year, the community overwhelmingly supported our mission of making a difference by donating without regard to attending many events. As you know, we are a 100% volunteer organization, which allows us to maximize your donations. We welcome all of you that want to get involved. There are many tasks to be done, and I'm sure that you have the skills necessary. Please watch for our email survey and let us know where you would like to help. We need you in order to continue to grow and help as many children and families outside our gates. I want to thank all of you that supported our mission and hope that those that have not yet done so will consider joining in this worthwhile effort in the future. Thanks again for making Ballon Isles the caring community it has become.